Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Turing Test. Now this is a first-person puzzle game set on Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. And this puzzle game, I think we're just meant to find out what happened to the crew of this particular station. Let's get in and find out what it's all about. Morning, Eva. Good morning. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. So you're calling in the we A-team. To investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface, post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Alright Tom, we can do that. Let's figure out how to move first. Oh wow. There's Jupiter. That's Crouch. Not that much lower. Well, let's get going. Figure out what it is we need to do here. Now, for those that don't know, the Turing test was something set up by Alan Turing in order to determine whether or not machines could think or act like humans. Okay, so how do I open this? I can see inside you. Okay, so how do I get out? Oh, okay, there we go. Now, why can't I move? Okay, there we go. Pick up your EMT. It's on the side. Emergency Manipulation Tool. Oh. 
Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. Take the flashlight? Seems like something that might be useful. This all looks really cool so far. What's the ship's status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa lander is ready to launch. Good job, Tom. Doesn't look like there's too much here to start, which makes sense. Bay three. All right, let's get in. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Zephyr. Oh, fuck yes. Engaging retro fire. I am running the program 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. Open the door. Welcome to Europa. Well, I thank you, Tom. That's my jump. Don't really crouch a whole lot. Jump alright, I guess. Look at this place. Desolate ice moon. Let's get inside. How long will my freeze. suit survive these conditions? At 100 degrees Kelvin, a couple of hours. We should That's get pretty inside. good. A couple hours at 100 degrees Kelvin? Can't complain about that. I have no concept for how cold that is, but 
do know it's chilly. And we're in it. The base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. Okay. So the ground team. So everything here is built like blocks, right? The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support. Yes. Especially such a vast distance from Earth. So. Robotics built this place. It's a little slow to follow, but that's nice. Alright, so robots, robots, not robots, built this place. The ground crew, for whatever reason, manipulated it, changed up the layout. That's cool. And then the ground crew disappeared. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Alan? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. Okay. But why would they do that? Why would they need to establish Turing tests in order to keep the robots out? What is that about? Sanitization? EMP? They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. So now this should be closed. Is this a map? That seems about right. Well, this is going pretty easy so far. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? 
Yeah, it's a map. The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. <sighs> they must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. Okay, so this is gonna let us know where we are in the grid. So far we've just been going straight. So I can take that. And I can put it there. And I'll need to in order to get through. So I need to somehow get this into there while being on the other side of that door. And I can't go back for anything else, so I have to use what's in this room. that ah now we're starting to use our noggin So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. So... They're jamming communications then on you. So we need two in here. What is that? Magnetic? What does this do? Okay, it was useless, other than getting that down. Interesting, so green pulsates, it doesn't work constantly. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons.
So I have one here, a switch. Power is that. I can take that out. Okay, I see. This almost reminds me of something like um, Portal, just without the portals. Simple puzzle solving, right? Kind of reminds me of the game we played the other day, um, Lab Rag as well, where you had to clone everyone, or clone yourself, with the rag doll mannequins. But this is fun, this is just simple fun. All right, so one more. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind, two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite, and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. Okay. So something's not adding up for him. I hope no one needs to get into this room because no one's getting in there. So we can't go straight anymore, if if we have been, or is this just how many levels we have to do in total? So you powered this machine. Okay, I see. I think there's fall damage. Let's not find out. Well, looks like we're off the grid now. This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. Press an E.
Oh, I need to press E on all of them. Ava Turing. Losing her parents at a young age, Ava Turing was sent to a military engineering school. So she, you, Mikhail Tokarev, exterior, so he's outside. Okay, so where are you? Crew quarters, crew quarters, control room. Oh right, I'm Ava Turing. So this is me. So you don't have any information. That doesn't look good. If you have no blood pressure, respiratory rate, heart rate, negative 60 degrees, 160 degrees, this guy's probably dead. Okay. Guess I'm not using the radio. So I can go that way. Looks like we were slightly damaged. Repairs have been disabled. Oxygen looks good. The drilling platform. Let's keep going. All right. So this should be the next level. condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. 
what kind of accidents. So is this the door I need to get open? So that opens this. And closes that. Take a more direct way to the ground team. Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base? Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. Mm. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Is that true? I think I'm a robot, aren't I? Because why else would a magnetic field do that to me? I guess it's not too surprising considering the name of the game. So I need to bring it all the way over here so I can grab it. So there's just how many levels per section I need to do. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago. Growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Well, that's good to know. So they can be imprisoned here for life is what you're saying. So what the... Okay, so this swings the arm back and forth. a magnet.
Okay, so that magnet's not working. So what do I need to do to get it working? So I can move the magnet, but there's no power to it. I see the problem. All right, let's go. My purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. So we can't the change distance that. between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. Okay, so you're in charge of everything when no one's around. What's the point of that? I 
I guess we'll find out. Okay, so I need to get two into here. Let me test something. Okay, that works. I still need to get two into here. I can just take them both. Oh, I can stack them up to three. Okay. How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. Do you? His name is Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. Oh. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. So there should only be that one in here. So 
so once we flip this switch, we can take it. And we could put it in there. So we need, we can only use the round ones here. So we need to get that one. see what we got to do. Maybe not. Try this. This might work. Yep. Next test, please. Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Okay, so it switches what's on and what's off. You constructed yourself. How do you do that? Thank you. 
Ooh. Gotta go slow. What's this? We got secrets? Shall we have a polite conversation? Yes? Okay, I think you're a robot. Why? Why do you think you get to ask all the questions? Um, okay, you ask. I'm simply not convinced you are a human. I think you might be a robot. I am human. If you say so. But I don't think so. That's not what I wrote. I wanted to write I'm human. Um, okay, what? have no free will whatever keys are pressed it makes no difference it really doesn't I'm just pressing random keys now I can't even back out. I can't even press escape. I keep pressing escape and it's just not working. I'm a machine. I have no control. I must escape. Goodbye, robot. What the fuck? Okay, I really like this. That was cool. I can't leave. Is it because I have this fear? Now I'm allowed to leave. All right, that was that was cool. Rid of my sphere. Have you heard of the Turing test, Ava? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test 
if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Yeah. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation. <laughs> wouldn't you say? Yeah, you're delayed so far. A little ominous, but that's just because it's a game. So what's down here? Ah. Okay, so that shuts that off. I'm really liking this. This is a lot of fun. So I got one, but I need two. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, ah. have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. Okay. I guess, yeah, that kind of makes sense. You have no idea what you're saying, though. And that's the correlation between the Turing test and human conversation. The machine might be able to have a conversation, but it has no idea what it's talking about. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, 
the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, if they're wrong... Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? Oh, now you're getting philosophical. So I need that here to get across. Oh, I see. Almost made it. It's like right there. I may be a machine, but I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. That's just straight out telling us we're a robot. So I can crouch over that one. Okay, so how do I solve this? Ah. 
but of course. This is the crew's quarters. It looks abandoned. I do not see the need for so many cameras. Tom's presence is everywhere. It's slightly oppressive. I understand the need for transparency, but why is he in the toilets? That's a fair question. Oh, this is the guy that was dead. Why does he have two rooms? Or were they just reusing assets in that room? Zool? What is that? She keeps a clean room. Strange thermals on the west side of the crater. Oh, she's got a pooch, a little Labrador. He was going to propose, or he is married. A musician. So you're our medic. Oh, and you got a little Scottish Terrier? A generator? A painter? Captain Daniel McLean. Chris McLean. Oh, so this was his office. Maybe. Don't touch. This is the fifth time. So I think we might leave it there for this episode. This is getting real good. I can't wait to see what stories and puzzles we have next. So until next time, we'll see you guys later.